What's up party people, Android Stud, and I'm back with a surprise unboxing. That's right, I got the Razer phone. I had to do it. It's time to cut it up with the Razer. I'm such an Android junkie. Let's take a look at this beautiful, beautiful beast. All right, so here is the Razer phone, the blade. That's right, I wanna thank Big Dog from Big Dog Phones. <laughs> Shout out to Big Dog. He was able to get me this, and uh, we trade phones a lot, and good guy, so shout out to him, Big Dog. And this is the Razer phone. As you know, this is a gaming uh, equipment company. They make a lot of gaming laptops and this is a really interesting device i wanted to get my hands on it and i finally do i'm excited about it you get a letter from the co-founder and creative director of razor right there just telling you about how much blood sweat and tears they put into this phone so let's check out this beast take this sucker out i've already unpackaged it obviously Let's go ahead and fire that up. As you can see, that nice little powered by Android with the Razer logo there. Looking real hot. So let's put the Razer to the side and take a look at what's inside the box. I'll let you see the animation there. Real cool animation that opens up. As you can see there, Razer. Yeah, this is a really, really nice device. It's a boxy phone like the Sonex XZ Premium that Sony makes you know has the box look does not look anything like an S9 S9 Plus a Pixel 2 XL or an iPhone 10 this thing is a groovy so put that to the side let's take a look and see what's inside the box real quick nice job by Razer as far as putting together the packaging for this all right, let's take a look and see what's inside the box. There's some nice uh, paperwork here. Shows you where the SIM card goes. That is a real nice SIM ejector tool. And that, if you know, if you guys can see that, it says Razor on it. That's real nice, nice detail by them. They gave you some stickers. You wanna put these on your laptop. I might put these on my Surface Book. And then they have uh, some inst instruction manual here about the phone. So that's pretty cool. And then you have Z. This looks like, look at that detail, man. Razor right there. This is the, looks like the charging brick maybe. Let's take a look at this. Pull this out one at a time. If I can. <laughs> Real nice. Yeah, this is a charging brick. And the good thing about this, this is Qualcomm 4.0 plus fast charging. So you're supposed to get zero to 70 in about 30 minutes. So a real, real good charging brick, real good um, amperage on it. So um, yeah, this is, this is definitely hot. I can't wait to test this out. Uh, it's got a 4,000 milliamp battery, so you're good to go. And then, like I said, man, the packaging on this is just phenomenal, man. And if you pull this out, I think this is the dongle for your headphones. So, and real good quality, kind of like Essential. Their, their, their accessories are really nice too, like OnePlus and Razer's done a great job. As you can see, this is real nice nylon here. And this is the dongle for you to put here inside the type C. So you're good to go, boom. And then you plug your headphones in right there. It's a go. So that's nice. So we'll put that to the side. And then you got this sucker here, which is probably the power, the type C cord. Let's check this out. Really impressed with the packaging on this. And there's your power, there's your type C cable there. Real nice. And this is like a nice, 
as you can see it's a nice nylon man real nice quality type c boom so they got some good accessories with this phone as you can see here man it's a real nice design you got that 16 by 9 axis ratios not 18 by 9s it's the 8, 16 by 9 but nice aluminum build it's a boxy phone which is different than what we're getting these days you have your stereo speakers this phone is all about the speakers all about the screen it's a gaming experience as they explain it on their press availability on the phone and it's a real hot phone this phone runs nova launcher right out of the box which is so cool i've been using this for almost a day and like i said man this is the razor phone made by the gaming equipment company gaming laptops you got a 5.7 screen real nice display uh, 1440 by 2560 real hot 16 by 9 it's an ips lcd and this thing runs like butter now the one thing about the screen that is amazing is that it has 128 megahertz refresh rate ultra motion refresh display and most phones this is the first phone to have 120 megahertz as a screen so this is the first phone out there that has this kind of um, display so if you go in here refresh rate boom down here where's it at uh, down here there you go now you could set that to 60 90 or 120 so I set it to 120 because that's what I want it to be at. And it's a real, real nice screen, man. It's a machine, aluminum body. It's real nice, man. Real hot looking phone, man. If This phone reminds me of what an Android phone should be. Like the old school Android, like the Nexus 1, the HD2, which wasn't an Android phone, but everybody made it an Android phone. It's a real cool phone. Uh, there's no wireless charging on this phone, but it has Qualcomm's fast charging, like I said earlier, and it charges real fast. It has a Snapdragon 835 processor. It's running Android 7.1. Should be getting Oreos soon. Hopefully, that would be great. This puppy right here is one of the phones that can compete with the OnePlus 5T as far as RAM. It has an 8 gigabyte, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of onboard storage. I wish it had 128 that would be a little hot like the essential or the oneplus 5t but look i ain't gonna be mad at them 64 is pretty good because you get an sd card slot you can boop up the storage if you want and that's all good and at the end of the day now there's no headphone jack on this puppy you only have the type c on the bottom you have a microphone port there and then you got some you got another microphone port there now it doesn't have a headphone jack which isn't a deal breaker but i wish it kind of did but you're gonna have to rock that dongle it's all about that dongle life you keep it moving now there's no waterproofing on this phone it's not ip8 it's not ip68 certified which hmm how do i feel about that i don't like it they should have waterproofing on the phone if it's gonna be one of those android heavy hitters with the 120 megahertz of refresh rate and you're gonna have that crazy screen with them crazy speakers then give me give me a headphone jack but that's okay I move on now the fingerprint reader is on the side here right here this little button right here that's your fingerprint reader and it is not bad the only thing that I don't like is that you have to press it to release the fingerprint but once you press it it's pretty fast so that's pretty cool you got a fingerprint reader on the side kind of like the Sony International XE premium version but hey it's it works pretty good I like having a fingerprint reader there on the side it kind of makes it a little more convenient now this puppy has 4,000 milliamp battery it's a big boy it's gonna last all day I've been running this for almost about a day it's running pretty good I'm not gonna lie it's a nice little nice little feature now the heavy hitter on this thing is the speakers you got the dual front firing speaker these are the best speakers out there in the game pixel 2 XL best camera Razer best speakers ain't nobody touching it let me see if we can run a little YouTube for you and I'll keep it moving for you guys and let's see what what we can do here get a little music going here but the speakers on this thing are unbelievable man I'm telling you that I've 
I've never in my life heard speakers this good. We're going to play a little music. Hopefully there's not a commercial. This will blow your mind. Look at that. Huh. That was supposed to shoot fireworks. So as you can see, man, the speakers are just top notch, man. Real good speakers. So that's the good thing about this phone. The screen with the 128 megahertz is great for gaming. Great for, uh, I mean, there's no lag. I mean, this thing has no lag. I mean, it, it just, it's just simple. This is better than butter. This is like olive oil, man. Your, your operating system is like olive oil, man. It is just smooth as butter. You have no issues with any kind of lag, <clears throat> Samsung. But this thing is a heavy hitter when it comes to the screen and the speakers. The battery's big, so that's great. It's got an 835 Snapdragon, like I said, 8 gigabytes of RAM, that's hot. The one thing that this thing struggles is cameras. Now it's got a front-facing 8 megapixel camera, and it's got dual cameras on the back. What you got here on the back is you got a 12 megapixel, 1.8 wide aperture, and then you got a 2.6 telephoto lens. Now, it does 4K video, it does 1080p, but it doesn't have 60 frames per second. You could slap the Google camera on there, and then you probably can get the 60 frames per second and maybe some better pictures, but the camera is not that good. Now, as far as the, the um, operating system, it's running Android 7.1, and it's got the customizable Nova Launcher pre-installed on this device. It's one of the, uh, probably the only phone that has the Nova Launchers, so you have excellent customization i'm running nova launcher i got some um icons on here they're called retrox as you can see right there right there retrox so those are my and then you can go in here and set all kinds of different customization so this is a heavy hitter phone man i recommend this phone if you want camera whoo, you gotta wait for it to improve they're supposed to send some updates but man it's a real sexy device i mean for watching youtube and watching videos on this phone there's nothing better than this phone it's a great experience and it's a fun phone to use i really like it because it's kind of like my blood of being an android guy this is it so that's it man i just wanted to do a surprise unboxing of the razor phone give you my first thoughts on it i think it's a heavy hitter follow me on twitter at android stud instagram facebook and google plus peace out party people